Land 8113 Phase 1, Australia purchases 30 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, HIMARS. The U.S. Department of State has approved the sale of Lockheed Martin's M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, HIMARS, to Australia. The U.S. Defense Security Cooperation Agency, DSCA, said on May 26 that the foreign military sale of 30 M142 launchers and associated weapons and equipment is estimated to cost $385 million. In addition to the M142S, equipment in the deal include 30M30A2 guided multiple launch rocket systems, GMLRS, 30M31A2 GMLRS unitary high explosive pods, 30XM403 extended range alternative warhead pods, and 10M57 Army tactical missile system, ATICMS, munitions. The proposed acquisition will meet the Australian Army's Project Land 8113 Phase 1 long range fires requirement. The mobile 16-ton HIMARS system is air-deployable via C-130J and C-17 and is designed to accommodate the 500 km range precision strike missile, PRSM, which is currently being developed by Lockheed Martin, the U.S. Army, and Australia under a cooperative development program. The GPS-INS guided rockets are carried in pods of 12, which can be quickly unloaded and reloaded onto the launch vehicle. DSCA said the proposed deal supports U.S. security objectives in the Indo-Pacific. The proposed sale will improve Australia's capability to meet current and future threats and will enhance interoperability with U.S. forces and other allied forces, it added. In July 2021, HIMARS was demonstrated to the Australian Army in a joint exercise named Talisman Sabre with the U.S. Army at the Shoalwater Bay Military Training Area in Queensland. The weapon was also featured in the 2019 iteration of the event, which was designed to develop interoperability between the two armies. The Hamars can also fire a precision strike missile that the United States and Australia are co-developing. In 2021 the Australian Army agreed to participate in the US Army's Precision Strike Missile PRSM, program. Under the arrangement, Australia said it would contribute $54 million to the project with a commitment to increase the lethality, range, and target engagement of the baseline PRSM in development. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram.